Hey, I'm Saif and currently we are a team of six people and develop a sci-fi 3D platformer with Unreal Engine 5 as a hobby. Although we are absolutely happy with accessibility and the raw power of the Unreal Engine, I still got a little bit insecure after the Unity scandal. More about in my older video, I'll link it in the description and reach out for other engines. As I mentioned, in this earlier video, there is a really great open source engine out there that takes literally 50 MB on your hard drive. Godot is super light, has a growing and super friendly community, which you can not only experience in the helping forums, a really good asset store, but also in a growing YouTube community. There are plenty of content creators out there who focus on Godot, so I thought why not have a plan B and give this engine a try, especially when you are interested in making 2D games. Unreal Engine can do 2D too, but they kicked out the standard 2D template, so it's quite harder to accomplish directly. So why not give Godot now a chance? So let's see if I can push myself a little bit. By the way, Godot supports a variety of programming languages for making games, including GDScript, C++ and C Sharp. Let's maybe start small at first and reach out and do what every indie human does at first, developing a little 2D platformer. After some scrolling on YouTube, I found a nice tutorial by the dude Heartbeast. His years of experience with his engine and is a really great teacher by the way. With his helping hand, I was super fast in creating. First of course, this code scared me off, but he makes the whole tutorial series feel like a game itself. So I created a jump, a double jump, some coyote time, wall jump, collecting items and a simple level hierarchy. Oh, and a timer for the speed run fans out there. Something I found super convenient was the ability to store all the specific movement mechanics in a resource and access to them by just dragging and dropping. A good feeling movement is everything in a platformer. And this option gives you the ability to store many total different or really similar settings and compare them immediately. Nice. And Unreal, I had to go through the movement mechanics like so and click my way through. Maybe there's a better way out there, but I still didn't figure it out. Feel free to enlighten me. Another great thing in Godot were signals. They're like messengers that nodes emit when something specific happens to them, like a button being pressed. Other nodes can connect to that signal and call a function when the event occurs. Signals allow one game object to react to a change in another without them referencing one another. Using signals limits coupling and keeps your code flexible. Why do you want your code flexible? Because it can accommodate new features and functionalities without breaking or requiring extensive modifications. These were the two features that popped out the most for me while following the tutorial series of Heartbeat's channel. What I think was less convenient in Godot is a collision layer this thing where every object has a mask and a layer which basically means the one where it exists and the one where it collides with. That what is first a little bit hard for me to understand but in the end I think I got it right. Oh and I definitely will dive deeper into the auto tiling system. That was also absolute new for me but for people like me who have a tough time with such new stuff to learn in case of Godot, that's no problem. The engine is very well documented and as I said, the community is great and growing fast. So let's see what I got in the end. Yeah, I'm really happy with the result and I already think about this using it as a technical base to flesh out a whole 2D platformer, maybe with 10 levels plus a special mechanic. I later want to add a character, maybe something like a relic hunter, which collects jewels in a temple and solves riddles and evades traps. Let's see, maybe I will have some time to continue the side project. As always, thank you for watching and listening and see you next week, my friends.